Hi, it's Layla again. Uh, when we go out these days, we see a lot of bees and my daughter wants to kill them. And I say no. So I decided to read this book about bees and hopefully it'll make you feel a little bit more comfortable or a lot more comfortable when you go out and see bees. So here we go. It's called Bees by Laura Marshall. So the contents. And we'll just start with the first section called Buzz. Outside the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and the bees are buzzing. When some people see bees, they run. Others might not notice the bees. But let's stop and take a closer look. Bees are helpful. Our world needs bees. Bees help both people and plants. Honey bees make honey and beeswax. People use these things in lots of ways. All kinds of bees help plants make seeds. Seeds can grow into new plants. Some of those plants give us fruits and vegetables. We can thank bees for strawberries, apples, almonds, tomatoes, and many other foods. Pollen power. When a bee lands on a flower, the flower's pollen rubs off on the bee. Pollen sticks to tiny little hairs on the bee's body. When the bee travels to another flower, pollen from the bee brushes off onto the new flower. This is called pollination. Now the new flower can start to make seeds. A bee's leg has special hairs that form a basket. The bee brushes pollen into the basket. Then it flies back to its nest. This pollen is used as food for baby bees. Bees collect nectar from flowers too. They drink nectar with their tongues. Some bees make honey out of nectar. These bees are called honey bees. Nectar is a sweet sugary juice that flowers make. So these are seven cool facts about bees. First is the garden bumblebee has a long tongue and it's as long as its body. Humans used to collect honeybees as early as 6000 BC. Bees have four wings, two large and two small. Bees can see colors. They're most likely to land on flowers that are blue, purple, or yellow. So I've heard that also if you wear those colored clothes, they like you too. Don't know if that's true. Farmers often hire beekeepers to bring bees to their fields. The bees pollinate the farmer's crops. Honeybees do a dance called the waggle. Scientists think that the dance shows other bees in the hive where the best nectar is. And finally, about one third of the food on our planet grows because of bees pollination. A bee or not a bee? Because there's so many different kinds, right? So it's easy to mistake other insects for bees because they often look alike, but there are ways to tell them apart. Take a closer look at a bee on the left and a yellow jacket wasp on the right, which is not a bee. Do you see what's different? The bee eats nectar and pollen from flowers. It has hair all over its body that helps catch the pollen and it has pollen baskets in its legs. The yellow jacket wasp eats mostly meats, such as other insects, it doesn't have much hair, and it doesn't have pollen baskets. A world of bees, about 20,000 kinds of bees live on earth. All bees are either solitary bees or social bees. A solitary bee makes a nest for its young. The nest is inside a hole in the ground, in wood, in walls, or in plant stems. Solitary bees collect pollen, but they do not make honey or beeswax. Social bees live with many other bees. A group of social bees is called a colony. 
a colony of bees lives in a hive. Honeybees are one kind of social bee. As many as 50,000 honeybees may live in one hive. Be careful. Uh, bees care for their young there. They make and store honey too. A hive is an open space within a tree, structure, or box where social bees live together. Home sweet home. Inside the hive, honeybees build with bee beeswax. The bees mold the wax into six-sided shapes called cells. Isn't that amazing? Lots of cells together make a honeycomb. The bees put nectar from flowers into some of the cells. As the nectar gets thicker, it turns into honey. Bees eat the honey for food. Other cells in the hive hold bee eggs. See those tiny little white ones over here? There's one egg in each cell. The eggs hatch, the young bees grow and change. After 21 to 24 days, the young bees become adults. Just giving time to look at these pictures. They're amazing. Okay, busy as a bee. Every honeybee in the colony has a special job. These jobs keep the colony healthy and strong. There's only one queen bee. She's bigger than the other bees. She lays all of the eggs, up to 1,500 eggs per day. There are two other kinds of bees in the colony. Drone bees are the male bees. Their job is to help the queen make eggs. Worker bees have many jobs. These females feed the queen and care for the young. They build the hive and make honey. On long flying trips, they collect pollen and nectar. They also guard the hive against enemies. That's why I said be careful earlier. Whew, that's a lot of work. Keeping bees. Some humans build honeybee hives out of wooden boxes. Beekeepers take care of the hives and collect the honey. Beekeepers also check the bee colonies to make sure they're healthy. Beekeepers know how important bees are to the world. So some tips for staying safe around bees. Move slowly. Don't wave your arms or jump around. If a bee thinks it's being attacked, it might sting. If a bee comes near you, Stand still or walk slowly away. Don't swat at a bee. Let it fly on its own. Do not disturb any bee, nest, or honeybee hive. The bees will defend their home and may sting an attacker. If you're stung by a bee, put ice on the sting. If you leave bees alone, they will probably leave you alone. And at the end, there's a quiz. If you want to take the quiz, you can get, go on to get epic. I hope this makes you feel a little bit more comfortable about bees. I think the biggest tip I can remember is stay still or move slowly. Don't move quickly if they're around, okay? So enjoy your summer and let the bees live so that they can help feed us. Thank you.